Now that we have seen our arithmetic sequences, we're going to revisit our geometric sequences. So arithmetic, you're adding or subtracting as a pattern. But here it changes when we have geometric sequences. So this first one, I'm going from 2 to 6. That's adding 4, right? But 6 to 18, that is not adding 4. So it's clearly not arithmetic. So how else can I go from 2 to 6? Well, I could go ahead and multiply by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Same here. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 3, 54. That's what makes this an, uh, oh, I was going to say arithmetic. That's hmm, a geometric sequence, okay? It is multiplying each step. The explicit formula for this is always going to follow the pattern a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1, okay? We already know first term and last term from arithmetic, but now we're introducing this r. This value that we multiply by each step is my r. So if I were to write the um, explicit formula for this geometric sequence, I'm going to have a sub n equals 2, my first term, times 3, my r, raised to the n minus 1. And to be very careful here with our order of operations, we're not going to do 2 times 3. It's kind of like this, 3 to the n minus 1, whatever this is. So say we're looking for that fourth step. We plug in 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 cubed, that would be 27, times 2 is 54. Yeah? Does that make sense? Okay, we have another one here. This time, as we notice, our sequence is getting smaller and smaller. But with geometric, we are always multiplying as we go step to step. So somehow I'm taking 81 and I'm multiplying it by something to get 27. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take 27 and I'm going to set it over 81. These are both divisible by 9. So that's going to become 3 over 9. That's helpful. And then these are both divisible by 3. So that becomes 1 third. So what I'm doing here is I am multiplying by 1 third each step. It looks like division, but we're always going to treat it as multiplication. So that's why we're going to say 1 third. So here I could write this as a sub n equals 81 times one-third to the n minus one power. So again, if I want the fourth step, I'm going to get four minus one, which is three. One-third, when I cube it, becomes one over 27 times 81. Then I reduce that out, and I'm going to get my three. So geometric is always multiplication. Okay, so the only thing that's changing here from arithmetic to geometric other than our formula is we're looking for that common ratio instead of the common difference. Okay, hopefully that helps. Come back and we're going to check out geometric series.